Hello, my name is Mark Brooks. I'm Chief Operating Officer of Optimal Geo. I have the honor of serving all of you in the geospatial community as president of MAPS. Thank you for joining the MAPS Digital Dialogue event series presented virtually by Connect Me. This series is structured similar to our summer conferences. Today, we will hold our keynote, our introduction to new members, a MAPS member roundtable, and our annual business meeting. Three following events during the next few months will focus on technology, business, and federal policy, very similar to the sessions in our usual conferences. A networking event will also be held during this time period. Like all organizations, all of our member firms, and pretty much the entire world, MAPS has had some challenges in 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused all of us to reevaluate our structures, our goals, and our commitments. We've met our challenges head on, and we've made difficult de decisions to ensure our organizations continue to thrive. MAPS began 2020 with a bang. Our winter conference in Honolulu was a major success. We had very high hopes for a successful federal programs conference. Then the pand pandemic hit, everyone went home, and we changed our plans for the year. However, MAPS continued to engage. MAPS has continued to advocate. MAPS has continued to develop opportunities for our members. Today and throughout our virtual dialogue series, you'll hear much about the accomplishments of MAPS so far in 2020. Over the past three years, MAPS has become a very member-driven organization. That will be reflected throughout the series we want to make sure we continue a strong membership engagement going forward. I'd like to introduce the MAPS Board of Directors who are working tirelessly to see that MAPS succeeds and are deeply involved with a well-defined strategy to propel MAPS into the future. Our president-elect is Bob Hansen from WGI. Our secretary treasurer, Robert White from the White Star Corporation. Director John Koppel, Sanborn Mapping Company, and Chair of our Legislative Affairs Committee. Director Jim Van Rins, Regal USA, and Associate Member Representative on the Board of Directors. Director Mike Miser from Wolpert. Director Paul Bader from GPI Geospatial. Director John Bodine from Surdex Corporation. Director Ken Scruggs from Midwest Aero Photography. And Director Mike Tully from Aerial Services, Inc. These professionals are who represents you and sets the policy and direction of the association. Please get a chance to know them, provide us with any feedback that you may have about MAPS. I'd like to also introduce the MAPS staff that works behind the scenes in supporting MAPS. Our MAPS meeting planner, Diane Schaefer from Stringfellow Management Group. Diane's had a very challenging year this year beginning conferences, ending conferences, making sure contractually that MAPS is financially uh, doing well. MAPS membership coordinator, Lisa Blair, also from Stringfellow Management Group. You hear from Lisa quite often from the MAPS headquarters emails. And our MAPS legislative director, Stefan Bailey from Prime Policy Group. Stefan continues to work with John Koppel and the rest of the Legislative Affairs Committee. I encourage you to introduce yourselves to all these MAPS staff. As I've said, MAPS continues to grow. Keeping MAPS relevant and engaging, we rely on new firms bringing new ideas into our association. We also need to continue listening to our existing members in order to retrain firms. Four new firms have joined MAPS since the beginning of March. These firms are Meta Special Aerospace, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, Aerometrics, and F.R. Alleman. These four firms will be presented later today in our new member introduction session. Speaking of new members, I'd like to thank Renee Walmsley of TetraTech and Brenda Burroughs of Teledyne Optech for co-chairing our membership committee. Even through the pandemic, these ladies and their committees have been busy recruiting members for MAPS. Today's event is a MAPS member only event. Due to the nature of our annual business meeting, which will be held at 3 p.m. Eastern today, non-members are not permitted to attend. 
The following three events will be open to all geospatial professionals. We hope these events will allow members and member firms to showcase their products, services, and expertise to others, while non-members will be able to learn more about the value of maps. I feel we put together a really great program for this dialogue series. I would like to thank Bob Hansen of WGI, Jason Haywood of DroneView Technologies, Jeff Kinner of Miller Creek Associates, Brenda Burroughs of Teledyne Optech, and Brian Raber of Merrick and Company, who all put in a tremendous amount of effort in developing the program. I would also like to thank the many firms who continue to invest in MAPS by sponsoring all the conference program activities. Without these sponsorships, our mission of networking, education, and advocacy would not be possible. Sponsors so far for the digital dialogue events include Aplanix, Teledyne Optech, Regal, WGI, Optimal Geo, Simactive, GeoSearch, Weston and Sampson, Compass Data, Midwest Aerial Photography, and Vexel. I'd like to thank Connect Me for providing the platform we are using for these virtual events. Connect, Connect Me Virtual Program Guidebook provides each registrant with a view of what the program is about. Information on our expert speakers and opportunities to set up meetings with our expert and sponsors exist. So I'm now showing the MAPS Dialogue event program guide. As you can see, there's plenty of information about the program, the agenda, a welcome message. You can meet the speakers, find out about our sponsors, see our new members, and you can even book a meeting with our partners. So if you wanted to book a meeting with Jessica Touchard, you click the book a meeting video, you want to do it for 15 minutes, and select a day and time. And Jessica will get back to you with confirmation on your meeting. Members can continue to add sponsorships to our program guidebook if you want to get yourself listed as a uh, partner. Our next three events are also highlighted in, in this program guidebook. We have the technology dialogue, the business dialogue, and the federal dialogue, all coming in the next few months. One event that isn't shown in the guidebook is our upcoming Mapstoberfest. Mapstoberfest is a networking beer and cheese event that will take place on October 5th and 6th. Space is limited, so sign up quickly to participate and sponsor. Thank you to Brian Raber and Lisa Blair for getting Maps, Mapstoberfest organized. We talk a lot about the engagement of our members. The 2020 XYHT Heights edition included an article on the state of maps. The article outlined the number of firms and individuals actively involved in MAPS interests. Over 30% of firms have at least one employee actively involved in MAPS. That doesn't just mean attending conferences. That's participating on an active committee, working with other organizations on our behalf, and continuing to work for the geospatial community. After all, isn't that what MAPS is about? So before we get to our keynote, a couple of housekeeping items. For all of our events, please use the Zoom Q&A function to ask questions of our presenters. You may also use the raise hand feature if you'd like to verbally ask a question. So at this time, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Chris Fisher. 